Today we're going to get into how to transfer and extract files from an Android phone into your PS Vita. I have the Galaxy Fold 4, so it's a nice little Android Fold device. Whether it's downloading the files on the Google Drive and then putting it into our PS Vita, but this requires no computer, only an Android device and your PS Vita. Let's get right into it. All right guys, so to make this happen, you can see my PS Vita on the right, you can see my Android phone on the left side. Let's go ahead and navigate to Vita Shell on the PS Vita, so it should look something like so on the right side. Let's go ahead and click on Start, Reset Select button. We want to change that from USB to FTP. Once we do that, let's go ahead and close it, and then hit the Select button. Now, this is going to go ahead and show you an IP address. Before we start all this, the app that I'm using to make this happen is called EX File Manager. Once you open up EX File Manager, it'll look something like this. So what you want to go ahead and do is click on FTP. Once you click on FTP, you want to go ahead and click Plus new click FTP now you're gonna copy what you see on your Vita on the right onto the new FTP server once you go ahead and type in the IP address you want to go ahead and scroll down make sure you leave passive and where it says anonymous once you check on anonymous you want to go ahead and click OK and it'll automatically add that folder right there and you want to go ahead and hit that and then you'll be able to see your UXO folder here and as you can see, right there I have, and as you can see, we can now see that data folder that we need right there to be able to put in the game. From my Discord, we're gonna go ahead and try the bully files. And as you can see, it's right there. Go ahead and click on it and download it. Download anyway. The sense is already downloaded, but we're gonna do download again. Once it downloads, you wanna go to your downloads. It'll be right there, it'll be the first bar folder. And we wanna click on it, and we wanna go ahead and open it with EX File Manager. Right, so from here, you want to go ahead and hold and, and highlight Bully Files R. Go to More at the bottom. Extract to. Then we're going to do Current Path. And as you can see, it's extracting everything. All right, and once that's done, you should see the Bully Files right here. And you should see both of the files. You go into the Bully, you see all the files right here. And then the BPK. I'm only gonna transfer the BPK now, just so you can see it coming over, because I already have the bully folder, if you, as you can see on the right side. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna rename it, Bully and Android Test. Right, what we're gonna go ahead and do is copy. We're gonna go into Home, FTP, our FTP session, UXO, data, and paste here. Because that file is not that big, it's gonna finish really quickly. On cancel on the Vita, you will see that file there. And please note, if you do get this message of any kind and it starts with PSP2 port, it's usually like a, a log file that's being logged. It's almost like a dump. That's why it's called DMP. Um, and it's just, usually this shows up when there's a file missing. So something could have went wrong while you were unzipping the folder or anything of that sort, but it usually means you are missing a file. So try unzipping it with a different software. If you are extracting it with the basic Windows extract tool, that can be the issue. Try WinRAR or like I said, 7-zip or anything that you prefer. So that's pretty much it. That's how you transfer the files from an Android device to the PS Vita. Again, I haven't dabbled in the world of uh, iPhone yet, so this is only for the Android as we speak, and I hope this helps you guys out. Please sub to the channel, comment, and like the video. I hope you guys have a great day.